Hey friends, this is Allie from Allie Scraps, and I want to show you really quickly some quick pages that I made in Canva using the Tracy Redesign Summer Camp Collection. So let's zoom in just a little bit. So I use a four or an eight by four canvas for like traveler's notebook size, and you can see there's tons of like texture and all that just because um, I use like background papers and things like that from Tracy's kit. And let me just go through these really quickly. So this one's like unplug sunshine and adventure and you can see there's like photo frames right here and then journaling cards photo frame another photo frame journaling card my intention here is to um add in photos later after my son gets back from camp um and so i wanted to have something started so i could do that really quickly as i go so you'll see like a lot of the um the layout kind of duplicates itself Again, just in like I change out backgrounds and stickers just to kind of make a cohesive album. But I just wanted some place um, that was ready to put these pictures. And so I thought this was a really fun way to do it. And it was really easy to do in Canva. And when I take pictures on my phone, I can just like upload them to Canva from my phone and then um, put them up that way. So what I'm going to show you is we're going to do another one really quickly just to show you how I kind of pull this together. Um, it's not going to go into shadows and all of that because <laughs> that's a little bit more, but I'm going to add a page and it's still going to be the exact same size as the other ones. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see the full page. And then I have all of the summer camp stuff uploaded into a folder. And so we're going to start with the papers. Let's do this fun wood grain. Enlarge it. And then these are photo frames so this is the frame like this white part here is the frame from tracy redesigns and the part that looks like the sky and grass and cloud that is from canva and let me just show you how i drop in um like a picture so all my designs right now let's find a picture because obviously i don't have um camp pictures yet but take my cute little puppy dog Okay, so I'm going to move this frame down from Tracy, and I'm going to pull in this picture of my cute little puppy dog, and then move the frame back, because otherwise it would cover it up. So there we go. That's how you drop a picture. And you could also do it like add the back of that picture first and then add the frame over it, which let's do that down here. So I'll show you kind of how I'm going to do that. So I'm going to go to elements because that's where we get these and these are just they're called photo frames or photo um yeah so photo elements and so this is just a square which is exactly what i want and then i'm going to pull in that picture of the puppy dog in look how cute and then i'm going to drop that frame and we're not in papers in elements just how i uploaded it and i'm going to scroll down to here's this frame and then just kind of resize it around my picture. And sometimes if you hover over a little bit too much over that the photo frame, um, it does try to like, you know, merge it together, but you just have to be careful. But look how cute is that? And then let's say I wanted to add some paint, so do that here. And then I want to layer it behind the picture. So I go up here to layer and you can show all layers. And then I can just drag this down underneath. So um hope that is helpful and like kind of how i i was adding those elements all together um and then when i want to print this if i want to print it on like eight and a half by eleven um i can do it individually or um, i can lay it all out on the paper together but to download these files individually like as layouts i go up here to share and then i scroll down to download and you pick what file type you like um i would probably do like pdf print or um maybe png but it really depends on how you want to print it or if you want to take it to like a print shop if you do a different size you can do jpeg and then just download it and go from there so i hope this has been a little bit helpful i hope it's been interesting to you and i hope you're inspired to use some of your digital scrapbooking stuff in canva